Look, selling and working in sales gets a bad rap these days. But after reading this one monumental book, I realized that, well, everybody sells, especially people in the modern workplace. To sell is to be human, and when you do it with the right approach, it's gonna make you proud to be in sales, just as I am. Hi, my name is Will, and I make Selling Simple. So today we're gonna to talk about the book that made me proud to work in sales. It's called To Sell is Human, and it's written by Daniel Pink. And we're gonna cover two foundational topics covered by his work. First off, selling. The fact that we all do it. How selling is intrinsic to human nature, and why the modern workplace has turned virtually everyone into a sales rep. We're also gonna cover the new paradigm and what this means for sales professionals like you and like me as well. Here we're going to break down the two core steps that Pink outlines in his work on how not only to be proud of what you do, but how to do it better as well. And that involves making it personal and why you shouldn't let professionalism get in the way of adding value to your potential customers and to your customers. And then number two, we're going to look at making it purposeful by connecting what you're selling to a larger purpose. Now, selling is human. We all do it. So let's get into why you should be proud to say that you're you're a sales professional and watching this video right now, you're probably not that proud to say it, but you should be. <laughs> and the first and most foundational of all of Pink's topics is this. We all Every single one of us, every single person on the planet, to a certain extent, are sellers. From the retail professional over at Gap, to the Fortune 500 secretaries, to mum and pop accountants, traveling HR consultants, whatever you're doing. No matter who you are or what you do, odds are that you've had to sell someone on an idea before. You've pitched an idea in a meeting, right? That's selling. You've asked for a raise internally. That's selling. You convinced your coworker to speed up signing the checks so you can get them out in today's mail. You might have uh, sold that in 1927. You might have sold your missus on doing the dishes for a change so you don't have to do them this afternoon so that you can walk the dog and have a nice evening to yourself. <laughs> Whatever it is, it's all selling. And Pink took this idea and used it to form what he calls contemporary selling. This kind of selling is about moving others to exchange resources that include, but don't always revolve around money. Contemporary selling isn't about the product, it's about a service. And okay, this is all a lot of like hypothetical and, and feel good, like rah-rah nonsense, right? What does all this mean for you? as a sales professional? Well, it means that there's now a new sales paradigm. Rather than selling in the traditional sense, your job is to render a service to your prospects and your customers. And the goal of all of this is to improve their lives. Now, there are two specific steps that you can take to better sell and better win and make tons of money in this new paradigm. First off, you've got to make it personal. And I've seen reps, tons of reps, lots of reps, trying to keep their relationships all like suited and booted and ultra professional to a fault even. And I used to do this a little bit when I first got into medical device sales. I was always very like handshake and handshaking and arms by my side and looking smart and professional. But well, whilst there is a time and place for that, leaving too heavily into it is going to create distance between you and your prospects. It's going to be very difficult to forge a connection with a customer. So instead, Come from a place of passion. Hopefully, and if you're not in this camp, you should consider changing roles. Hopefully, you like what you're selling. You believe in it. And you want others to get the same value as what your core current customers do right now. When you approach your relationship this way from, hey, I know what I've got can really help you, as opposed to, oh, I'm just going to get on the phone with this idiot and try and flog him something. Immediately, without any tricks or body language hacks or any stuff like that, you come across as more credible. And that instantly builds trust. So let me give you an example of making it personal. So let's say you sell certain types of, I don't know, large scale content management software for, for large Fortune 500 companies. And guess what? You hate what you sell because you know that the product is inefficient, it's overpriced, and frankly, it just doesn't do a good job of solving your buyer's problems. Well, since you know that making a sale probably isn't going to really help anyone that you're selling to, well, then you'll have to find value in other areas of the deal. You're making money, you're boosting your numbers, you're shooting for a promotion maybe, and at this point, ultimately, the buyer just becomes a stepping stone for you to put some cash in your pocket. And so you're going to devalue them and their needs. You're not going to care about them, and that's no good for sales. 
But let's say, on the other hand, you love what you're selling. You know it works. You've seen how it makes your clients' lives easier. And you think that your buyer is going to get a lot out of working with you. And I've done this twice now, right? Both in medical device sales. I knew, because I've worked for only the best companies in the space, that our endoscopic camera systems were just the best. There's two competitors in the market. They're almost 50-50% market share. I wouldn't have worked for anyone else. And I knew that if we upgraded any old system, older generation system with what we provided, it would cost the hospital a load of money, but the patient outcomes would be much better. The surgeons would be less fatigued at the end of the day using the equipment itself. It just works better. We went from a 1080p screen to a 4K screen. It was just 10 times better the performance from the product. And that affected both the surgeon, the patients, and everyone else further down the line. I also know from selling Sell and Made Simple Academy, both if you're an individual and you get signed up, or if you're a larger organization, which is what I lean into in the team. I sell the enterprise um, deals more often than not. And I know that we really help individual salespeople and entire sales teams find and close more deals in the next 30 days. So I'm excited when I jump on the phone with someone because I know I can help them. I'm passionate. Maybe it comes across as I read these scripts and we do these videos. You could probably see a bit of a, a change when I go off script like I am now, banging on about the product or service that we provide because I know it's so genuinely beneficial to our customers. And when you approach a sale with this kind of mindset, your genuineness, it shines through. You're congruent with what you're saying, which is completely different to 99% of other sales reps out there. You're there to provide a service and your buyers are going to be able to trust you on what you say. So that's my little bit of a rant there over. <laughs> but to take this one step further, the second element that you can implement into your game to live up to this new paradigm of sales is to make everything purposeful. And this is important for salespeople because it's really easy to get caught up and, and bogged down in the specifics of the company you work for, the product you're selling, the solution that you offer, the nitty gritty features, the in the weeds, technical details, the straightforward use cases. And if you spend too much time here, you may not realize that what you're selling is actually connected to a much broader purpose in the marketplace. Because as it turns out, studies show that the desire to serve for humans is somewhat innate. It's built right into us. And you're gonna be most successful when you believe wholeheartedly that you're not just there in your job, in your sales role to serve yourself, and not just there to serve the individual client, but you're there to serve the organization, the, the marketplace that you're in as well. When you connect your solution to not just this feature will solve this problem for you, sir, madam. When, when you get bigger picture about all of this, when you can link this, this implementation of your product is gonna help your customers, customers achieve something. It's gonna improve the marketplace. It's gonna improve this demographic of individuals, whatever it does. You're gonna have a larger purpose. You're gonna be more passionate and you're gonna become intrinsically more service oriented. And you're gonna become more driven as well. The idea of becoming intrinsically motivated all stems back from serving other people. So to become Become more purposeful, focus on how your service can improve not just your customer, your own bank balance, which is what I really care about, right? Getting more commission checks in your back pocket, but also the organization that you're selling to, their customers, customers, and I don't know, depending on what you sell, maybe society as a whole. And frame it that way in your head, but also to potential buyers as well. So let me give you an example here, because a lot of this is kind of high level, wishy-washy stuff. I, I appreciate that. So let me give you a more firm example. Let's say you sell accounting software, specifically for mum and pop small businesses, and your product is powerful enough to keep these businesses' costs down whilst keeping things compliant with taxes, uh, here in the UK, VAT law, all that kind of stuff. But maybe it's also so easy to use that they don't have to hire an accountant. Your product works great, your clients love it, and alone, that could be a driving force that you could get behind. Well, let's take things a step further. Let's say you're helping these small businesses stay afloat, but you're also contributing to a world where small, valuable businesses can compete with larger, overgrown, dinosaur-like corporations as well. You're making it easier for new ideas to thrive and not immediately just be squashed by monopolistic, massive corporations. And you're also helping to contribute to the values of the, the free market, competition, and the freedom for anyone to participate. That's pretty exciting stuff. So I'm super into helping small business owners. I do loads of coaching and, and free work with small business owners here in, in Leeds and in Yorkshire. And I think that's super valuable for us to give back to companies that are up and groaning as well, because I got loads of help when I started salesman.org and the Seller Made Simple Academy. So in this example, you thought that you were just selling some random piece of software that helps with accounting, but when you make your work purposeful, 
When you make it important, you get to talk about a bigger picture and that really shines through to your buyers. And when you do all of that, you're gonna feel really freaking proud to work in sales. So we're all salespeople nowadays and in this contemporary selling landscape, things have obviously changed. And this is the new paradigm. This is not going anywhere. You need to say goodbye to traditional selling and hello to providing a service to your customers. The goal is to improve your prospect's life not just to get them to buy a random generic product. And you're gonna accomplish this by number one, making it personal by freely showing your passion for, for what you do and your product. And if you don't have that passion, then well, you're either selling the wrong product or maybe you're just in the wrong business, which is fine. You know, not everyone is cut out for sales. Two, you've gotta make it purposeful by connecting what you do with some kind of bigger purpose. Connect your product with a larger purpose like improving the work-life balance or the mental health or helping their customers improve their own businesses. And as soon as you do this, you're going to find that you come across as way more congruent. Your passion for what you're saying and the excitement in your voice is going to translate over your, your Zoom calls, your demos, whatever it is, the whatever process you have in place to get deals done. And it's, it's just contagious. You'll find people will want to listen to you when you're passionate about what you do. So remember, to sell is to be human. And when you incorporate these concepts into your professional life, you're gonna be proud of what you do because sales is a important service to society. And there we go. Hopefully you got something out of this video. If you did, why not click the video that's on the screen right now and continue making selling simple.